Hello, stamping fans. It's Liz Holloway, and welcome to my How It's Made tutorial. I'm using the Santa Stash stamp set of the holiday catalog. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use your reinkers to create the beautiful Nutcracker card and some mixed media components. As you can see from the Nutcracker, his at his head wobbles. I'm taking my watercolor paper, and I am actually I'm adding embossing buddy over the uh, watercolor paper. Here I'm using the Versamark to stamp my image onto the watercolor paper. So I'm stamping it once here and re-inking it again. Because the Versamark is so light, I'm adding detailed black embossing powder to by pouring the powder on and shaking the excess off onto the coffee filter. Any of the excess powder will go back into the canister. Now that I can see the stamped image, I can go ahead and stamp the third uh, nutcracker right in the center. Okay. And at this point, you want to heat up your heat tool. By heating up the heat tool, it will actually make your uh, powder melt a little bit smoother rather than waiting. Once this is done, get two aqua painters, and I will show you why in a minute. Just simply twisting the cap off and fill the reservoir with water and recap it again. No more water mess. Now I have already filled my palette tray with re anchors of Pacific Point, Blushing Bride, Daffodil Delight, and Pooh Party. You want to squeeze the aqua painter barrel until the water comes out and apply the water directly to the areas you are coloring. I'm taking Pacific Point and watch how the color disperse. With the image being embossed onto the watercolor, the water will stay within the embossed area. My next area is just a tad dry, so I'm taking my Cleat Aqua Painter and adding more water. I'm switching to the Aqua Painter that's got the Pacific Color Point color. Add as much color you want until you get the desired color. Here I am darkening the right side to create the shadow depth. Where are the smaller areas? that I want to color. I'm not going to add more water. I have enough water and color in the aqua painter that is just enough for the smaller pieces. And then I'm going to repeat the same process for the second nutcracker. You want to clean up your aqua painter so that there is no more Pacific Point. Here, I'm also in because the face is so small. I'm just using the blushing bride to um, color that in, and then adding more color to the cheek area and the nose on the right hand side. And then I'm going to do the same thing for the other uh, nutcracker. Go ahead and clean up your brush. And then the next color that we're going to apply is the uh, Daffling Dill Delight. And I went ahead and uh, added water. And then in the meantime, once that's done, the water will disperse itself and then adding more shade as you need it.
side that you see that I use my uh, heat tool to dry the uh, watercolor paper, I'm going to do some fussy cutting. Once the fussy cutting is done, take your crystal effect and what you want to do is apply a thin layer of crystal effect onto the mustache using the tip to push it right against the points and apply it evenly. Do the same thing on the other side and then just let it sit to set dry the water. Now I've since learned that just tap down your crystal effect to let the excess uh, drop into the canister and then take your baby wipes and squeeze out the air and any excess in the tip or the nib it will uh, squeeze right out and you can it's ready for the next use. Here I have two pieces of five by three and three quarter and what I'm going to do is taking my stamping up trimmer and taking the upper right hand corner lining it up to the cutting line and then the bottom right corner lining it up to the one inch line and then removing that trim to create that angle and then the the right upper corner and the bottom corner here is lining it up at the three quarter inch And then do the same thing on the other piece. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just take a bit of adhesive and I'm applying adhesive to the back. And I'm using my stamping uh, trimmer as my grid. Lining it, the grid line. You can use your stamping pad as well. And then taking my Versa mark here. And this time, instead of using Greetings of Season, I'm using the Peace on Earth stamp and using it from the Greetings of the Season. Now this stamp set is retired, but this is the only stamp um, greetings that I have for Christmas. So this time I'm using Peace on Earth. Okay. I'm using my embossing powder to apply onto the cardstock to prevent unnecessary powder that is not needed. Okay, so then taking this mark and I'm taking the bottom line and aligning it right onto kind of like an eyeball to the cardstock. I moved it right over to the left side because I'm going to have my nutcracker sitting around there. Okay, so once that is done, apply embossing powder white embossing powder and then shaking off the excess. Now that my two pieces are embossed, I'm going to take my washi tape. <coughs> I still have adhesive on the back so I'm going to make sure that it stays and I'm going to apply washi tape to the top of this so that it actually sticks right onto my crack mat. Okay, and then at the same time, um, what I'm going to probably do this time is I'm going to mask out the piece instead of using the washi tape to mask it out. So I'm going to stamp this on a separate piece of paper, like a, just a scrap thin piece of paper, even a typing pad. Taking my words, just inking it up. Quickly. And then taking your pair of scissors and then just cutting it as close as you can to the words. Leaving a little bit of white space here so that it's not going to seep right through into my wordings. Now I'm adding washi tape around the surroundings so that it doesn't move off the craft mat. I'm adding my decorative mask. Now this piece is large enough to cover both areas. Scooping enough um, medium out onto the craft mat. 
adding a couple drops of re-inkers, which is the Pacific point, and then scraping it up to uh, mix the colors in with the bolding paste. Check your color against the cardstock to make sure that it is the color that you want. And if it's not colored to the color that you want, just add a couple more drops of the re-inkers and mix it again with your spatula. You want to apply a fair, um, a fair amount of paste onto the stencil and then later on you're going to go back and scrape off the excess going only one way. And as, as you can see, I have a lot of paste uh, wastage, but that is okay because I'm just using this as a video. You don't really don't need a whole lot because a little bit of paste goes a long way. So I'm just using the baby wipe to wipe off the craft mat. And then at the same time, you can also uh, put the water, warm soapy water into the sink and then just wash it up later when it's time. I carefully remove the washi tape as well as the mask. Uh, in the area that you see, if you made a mistake, take your X-Acto knife and scrape off the paste and then wipe it off with baby wipes. So I'm going to add Dazzling Diamond to this uh, cardstock because I want the stars to twinkle. And then I'm going to let it set for about 15 seconds before applying heat to it. Having the Dazzling Diamond um, onto the paste, it actually acts as um, an adhesive emboss. Okay, so once the uh, molding is dry, what you want to do is take off the excess of the glitter that's uh, lingering around. And I'm just taking a paintbrush and brushing it off. Here, I'm taking this, adding glue right at the back, the upper left corner of the base card, and ensuring that this is sealed right down. So just hold it in place until the glue set. Now I got this wobble through uh, Amazon and you can get a hundred spring and this is a, a great tool to have it to keep um, just because you want to make sure that it's really springy. Okay so now I'm taking my nutcracker and all I'm doing is I'm taking the death rhinestones and adding rhinestones onto And then removing the backing. Now the uh, crystal effect is still tacky, so I'm not going to even touch it. And uh, I'm just line this up. And then the back, just remove the protective sheet. And just apply it to the card itself. There you have it. And if he's off center or crooked for it, just recenter it again. A list of supplies can be found at my blog at stampersplus.com, and I'll put a link at the bottom of my YouTube. Press the like button to let YouTube know that you like to see more of this type of tutorial. And if you are on my blog, please add a comment. I'd love to hear from you. This tells me that you are visiting and I have given you some inspirations. I'd love to hear from you and see what you have come up with. Lots of hugs.